have a lot of buildings in Europe. And while it's true that we are building more and more new energy efficient homes and offices, it's fair to say that the majority of our buildings are older and inefficient in terms of the energy they consume. These older buildings are significant contributors to harmful CO2 emissions and consume more than 40% of all the energy we use in their heating, cooling and lighting alone. So the more efficient we make buildings, the less energy they consume. It just makes sense. Indeed, reducing energy consumption in buildings is a priority for the European Commission and its ambitious 2020 objectives for energy efficiency. They want our older buildings to use less of our precious energy supplies, reduce harmful emissions and ultimately save building owners and residents money too. The use of new building materials, using more renewable energy sources and educating the energy consumer are just some of the ways we can lower our energy consumption. But we still have our old buildings to think of, and we can't just knock them down and start again. So what can be done to ensure these buildings consume less energy? Well, there are already a number of ways to do this. Better insulation, more efficient boilers, using solar energy, and more efficient lighting solutions are just some. But retrofitting these solutions to older buildings is often expensive and disruptive for those using the building, while the energy and cost saving they bring are often hard to measure. So what if we could accurately assess the impact any particular renovation component would have on a building in terms of the energy and costs it would save and the emission it would reduce? That would help us make smarter renovation decisions. Better still, what if we also had a set of standardised renovation kits available that were easy, quick and cost effective to fit, avoided serious disruption to occupants during fitting and all provided proven energy, cost and emission savings? And then, what if we could package these plug and play kits to meet the needs of particular building types with their own heating, cooling and lighting requirements to maximise the impact of the renovation work? Well, we will soon be able to do all that, thanks to the work of the INSPIRE project, a four-year research effort funded by the EC and involving researchers, engineers, manufacturers, architects, energy experts and many more specialists from eight EU countries. Inspire's primary objective is to reduce the energy consumption of older buildings to lower than 50 kilowatt hours per square metre per year. That's an 80% reduction on what we use today. It will do this by looking at the problem of energy use in older buildings holistically and produce a series of systemic renovation kits that can be applied to residential and office buildings. There are six different kits being developed, all incorporating one or more of the following components energy generating systems, lighting and shading systems, piping ducts and modules, thermal energy storage systems, and heating, ventilation and cooling systems. These kits, which will be available on the market as off-the-shelf solutions, will integrate different retrofit components into insulated, prefabricated building envelopes. The building envelope is the layer that separates the inside and the outside of a building. The beauty of this approach is that while each of those retrofit systems applied to a renovated building on its own will increase energy efficiency and lower energy costs, when they are brought together into one easy-to-fit package, more significant savings all round can be delivered. Another advantage of this holistic approach is that not only will the kits reduce energy use and costs, the packages are being designed for use in a variety of climates and to maintain or even improve levels of comfort in the renovated buildings for their residents and users. So, how is Inspire setting about this ambitious task? Well, it all started with some serious market research as project partner Dr. Sarah Birchall explains. Before the Inspire technologies could be developed, the project partners needed to understand the range and the state of the buildings in Europe. So we carried out an assessment and categorisation of the residential and office buildings across the EU. We looked at the age of the buildings, their structural characteristics, ownership. We also looked at the use of electricity and the use of heating and cooling energy. We also looked at how people use their homes and their comfort requirements. 
The study we conducted was one of the most comprehensive evaluations of Europe's building stock ever undertaken. And not only has it helped us with the development of different technologies for the Inspire kits, but it has also helped us to determine a set of target buildings that the kits can be applied to in order to have the greatest energy impact. And this isn't just the individual building itself, but it benefits Europe's whole built environment. So in other words, by targeting certain types of buildings, we can have a greater impact on the energy savings across the whole of Europe. We also assess the availability of the renewable energy sources, local building regulations, and any incentives available to promote renovation activity. Another objective of the INSPIRE project has been to develop an easy-to-use energy auditing tool for planners, architects and building owners to use as a way of assessing what impact any retrofitting solution will have on a particular building so they can make smarter renovation decisions. So, with the types of buildings selected and a tool to measure the energy saving potential of different retrofit solutions in place, it was then the turn of the Inspire, R&D and industry partners to develop the technology to deliver six innovative renovation kits to the market. So what are these kits and what do they do? Getting ventilation, heating and cooling around a building through one system is problematic, particularly when renovating an old building. There are thermal losses and fire risks to contend with, while installation and maintenance costs are high. Inspire's solution is to decentralise by putting the ventilation, heat recovery system and a heat pump to distribute the heat all into the envelope insulation. This almost entirely eliminates any thermal losses, the need for additional ductwork and reduces fire risks. It also provides easy access, making maintenance quick and easy. As with Kit 1, getting heating, cooling and ventilation around an office building poses many problems. It's inefficient, there are fire issues and it's expensive to install in a renovation and to maintain. As such, fan coils for heating and cooling are often installed separately to the ventilation, adding to the complexity and costs. By building continuous facade modules, and incorporating small heating units into those modules, this Inspire kit will deliver the heating, cooling and ventilation needs throughout the office and reduces installation costs while also reducing the space needed in the office for technical parts. Space for solar collectors and their technical equipment is often limited on office roofs. While traditional solar cooling systems are unreliable, need expensive pipe work and take up a great deal of space. Inspire has developed a very clear renovation kit that incorporates all-in-one solar collectors and sorption chillers into continuous facade modules. They require no pipe work and take up no space on the roof while the innovative system efficiently turns sunlight into highly efficient, green and cost-effective heat and cold throughout the office. The use of multiple renewable energy sources from an integrated heating and cooling system is a complex process. Pumping the warm or cool water around the large system in multi-occupancy dwellings requires a complex series of valves and switches working in tandem with no central control. Adding a renewable energy source to the mix complicates things further, so costs rise and engineers and installers will often shy away from taking on the challenge. Not so with Inspire's ingenious energy box solution, which cleverly integrates virtually all the system's layouts into one box and also includes smart electronics to enable the control and monitoring of energy fluxes from a central unit. Not only does this simplify the whole system, it also lowers the cost of installation as the whole thing is standardised and all the systems are factory fitted. Radiant ceiling panels used for heating and cooling are usually expensive to fit. While normally they do not include ventilation systems and fitting lights to them is difficult as well. 
Inspire is solving this issue by designing innovative ceiling panels that integrate all heating, cooling and ventilation needs, while also including specially designed LED lights. Not only does this make the whole solution more cost effective, but everything can be designed in the factory to simplify the installation. Work on all these kits has been progressing well. Starting in the lab, things quickly moved to testing and prototypes by the industrial partners before all are now being put under real-life scrutiny in three test buildings in Madrid, Ludwigsburg and Verona. Before the demonstration sites could be renovated, a full energy audit of the buildings was conducted so the impact of the improvements can be measured after installation. The Ludwigsburg building is an example of 1970s social housing and is made up of four flats on four storeys. Here, Inspire is fitting the wooden facade and roof kit as well as the heating system. In Madrid, Inspire is also working on a multi-occupancy residential building, 10 flats over 5 storeys. Here the energy boxes are being fitted as well as new envelope solutions and solar collectors. Finally, Inspire's office building solutions are being tested at a site in Verona. Here, the building is being renovated with the metal glass facade and the ceiling panels. Once all three buildings have been fitted with the Inspire kits, monitoring will take place and continue for at least a year to assess the full impact in terms of the energy and cost savings they will create. Another vital part of the project has been to conduct rigorous life cycle analysis of every aspect of the project at every stage of the work, up to and beyond installation. Of course all this work, the designing, the demonstrating, testing and measuring will only be worthwhile if A, they work and B, if people buy them and fit them during the renovation work. So we've developed the solutions and we know the potential they offer. What we're doing now is spending a lot of time making them attractive to the people who matter. So the construction industry, the architects, the local authorities, and the building owners. And what we want these key people to understand is that by using these standardized renovation kits, not only will they reduce the energy use in their buildings, but because they're quick and easy to fit, they will also reduce the installation costs. A double win. So there's two facts worth remembering. That 80% of the buildings that will exist in Europe in 2050 are already here today and their ambitious targets have already been set to reduce the energy use of these buildings. So we must make renovations smarter and we must have the products available on the market to simplify the whole process. Only then will people invest in renovation.